James Crazy. That's me! Hey everybody, welcome back to James Plays Man of Medan. We made it through the intro and only peed our pants a little bit, but that's not going to happen this time because the pants are gone. So problem solved. Hmm. There's Brad, everybody. It's the uh, Brad, you know, from Man of Medan. Alex's brother, Innocent. Is that what that said? I think that's what that said. I looked away for one sec. I thought these things were staying... Yeah. Julia's boyfriend, insecure. You're motivated. All right. These are brothers. Think we got to know? I thought the, right the text and stuff would stay on screen until I was ready so, uh, to move on. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kinda, yeah. Alright. <sighs> oh, we are timed on this. Uh... I wanted to. I just didn't... I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Or maybe you could just not drop expensive things. You know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little sass. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. So this does feel like we did a little time jump here. And, you know, let's be nice. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? Little brotherly love. <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. So we may or may not have a drunk. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? It's uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. Oh, about are we popping the question? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice. You popping know? the question? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Let's, uh... We're, we're not cool. We're cautious. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Bearing updated. Okay. Let's let's stop there for a second. Brad told Alex to think things through. Okay. We're, we're, let's just get all these comparisons out of the way. And until dawn, the mechanics were... We had totems that you could find that showed you potential future outcomes. In this game, we apparently will have pictures that do that. We also had the butterfly effect. In this game, we have the moral compass. So, like a cause and effect. Actions and consequences. So, we told him to think things through. We'll see how that plays out. Proposal, I was right. He's going gonna, gonna to pop a question. But, yeah, I think this is fine. I, I want people to be cautious. I want people to think. We are in a horror movie. Just, you know. Okay. Somehow we missed the first choice. Unless these are out of order. Uh, secrets. Nothing. Okay, we have our list of characters here. And our affinity towards them. So, you know, brothers doing better. We're not witty. We're not very innocent. 
No pictures. Okay. Moving on. Hey. There's Julia, and that's presumably Conrad. Reckless, she's gonna die. Full heart, he's he's gonna die. I hope not. I hope I can keep everybody alive. But if anybody's gonna die. Sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Aw. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. He's definitely a drunk. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Alcoholic. Let's let's go. Let's yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I I love beer. <laughs> love beer so fucking much, man. You gonna start crying about right it too? On, radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You, you know. Fuck off. You ever do any diving before? Uh, me, yeah. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Let's Water be honest. Virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. What is wrong with you? Gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> yeah. well, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? There... He is. <laughs> I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Oh. Yeah, that's good. It's funny because she's a woman and not old. They really laid it on with making Conrad a, a sucky sucker person. But, you know, it's still early. We have a chance to endear ourselves. He's having fun. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Maybe a nice big bowl of clam chowder. See those hot pits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. You know, feel good. Be right, optimistic. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? We back up our bro. Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, yeah, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? I want to do it the right way. But I don't like either of those choices. Let's say nothing. Guys, no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, this is gonna be fine. To the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Thank <laughs> you. 
We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Yeah, we will. In a sec, as soon as I figure out... I guess he's below deck. Uh, yeah. There's some people who like to play these games based on the characteristics that are told to you about the, the character. So, you know, being eager and impatient, you know, maybe he wouldn't say nothing. Maybe he would be a little more, you know, gung-ho about things and maybe a little more, you know. I don't like to do that. I like to play the way that I'm feeling. You know, I don't want to... I, I mean, Julia's reckless. Do I really want to play recklessly? No. No. I don't. Maybe you do. So let's see. Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. Gonna look at some seagulls. What does this cloud look like to you? To me, if you look at it at the right angle here, like you kind of tilt your head a little bit to the right, kind of looks like cloud. Yeah. That, oh, that's definitely a cloud. And that is the Lorax. You can see the big old bushy mustache and then the little eyes above it there, you know. All right, uh, let's look at the water. Yep, that's definitely water. Oh! Oh! That's either... Oh, okay, wait, wait. That would be like the... Never mind. Okay, it's coming back. I was going to say, it's like the uh, the buoy for the, the stuff that she threw over the side. At first, I thought it was just like a beer bottle. Like Conrad's just chucking them. Right, he checks out... There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Am I supposed to be seeing anything in these pictures? I see some the wreckage again. Yeah. So what is your interest in this, guys? Like, why are you going diving looking for a World War II wreckage? You, like... Julia and Conrad, their family's loaded, so I don't think you're looking for, like, scraps to go sell on, like, Pawn Stars or anything. Okay, we are recycling back through. Oh, you're over here now. Hi. Hey. Hey, back. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. Let's be nice. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Why? Making a fort. Okay, so they are looking for, like, treasure. But, yeah, yeah cool. I know. 
Well, let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hey, Cappy. Come on, let's get over to the actual things. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. I agree. So let's be nice. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Me personally, a lot. But... Uh... Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. I don't like either of those choices. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. And she's right. I don't like that she's kind of being... Like, the, the other guys are, are our heroes, our good guys, and she's like the, the old stick in the mud. I like a good stick in my mud. Oh, crap, it's in Celsius. You know how to use that? Uh... No. I know how to push the Not off really. button. <laughs> you might want to just let it do its thing. Oops. What do we got over here? Hundred and twenty pounds, five eight. Wow, she's okay. Oh, her birthday just passed. Happy, happy belated birthday. This doesn't look kosher. Why? What would not look kosher about this? I've never seen... A diving instructor's license before, so maybe there's something that I don't. I mean, it's got a, got a little logo and everything on both sides. It's, looks legit to me, but he's suspicious about it. Something maybe I can bring up with her, like hey. I don't think your license is good. You're hanging out over there now. All right, nothing to talk to you about. Let's go check in on Brosif. Huh. What am I looking at here? Our first future picture. Premonition unlocked. High and dry. I'm going to have to, you know, scrutinize that at some point. I wonder if all the pictures are going to be like that, like framed things. I mean, this is where he was in that, that, that thing there. I It's our very first premonition, so I would expect 
to not really worry too much about it, but we'll see. Okay, no dead sure bodies this time. Anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Okay. And the book. T.S. Hartley, Shroud of Innocence. Oh, this is interesting. Salem Witch Trials. Uh, for those of you that don't know, in the very near future, another game is coming out in the Dark Pictures anthology called Little Hope. And I think it has to do with with this, with witch trials, witches. Maybe a little bit of kind of like foreshadowing, a little, little something. Just tying everything together. If so, very cute. I approve. And nothing else. This is the, the part of the game I like, where nothing scary is happening, and I can just go look at things and kind of put pieces together, a little bit of lore. Can't go pee. Maybe maybe I can pee in this room. What's up? Can I doing? pee here? I'm sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Oh, it's not a big deal. Hey. All part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. I ain't gonna, you know, dog on somebody for getting seasick. I mean, come on now. That ain't something you can help. I'm not gonna blame a single beer. Please go up the please go up the stairs. Thank you. I keep kind of catching on things here and there. And it's making it difficult to just kind of walk where I want to. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Please just... I apparently overstepped the scuba gear. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. Or we could oh, just we do what that. they did in the abyss. With the fluid and the rat. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. Oh. Oh. I don't know what either of those things are. I'm gonna go with this that. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Okay. Alright, kids. Oh, that's a horrible smile. Just remember the rules, please. I'm gonna take this too. Cattle prod? I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Uh oh. Okay, so the first thing I took was a cam oh look at us. First thing I took was a camera, okay. Then the other thing they said bang stick. Sharks get it is kinda like a cattle prod. Sharks come at you and you're like, I got a stick. And it's gonna, you know, it's supposed to scare him off. I took that. I hope I didn't take it when she was gonna take it, and now she's left defenseless for when a shark shows up. These are, this is, this is, this is the story of the game. Second guessing every action.
And then when things inevitably screw up, feeling very bad about it. Or, or it was very good I took it, because if I didn't, it was just going to stay up here on the ship, and we would have needed it. Like, we were going to stick together down there. And I'm going to save her. Whoa. You good? More or less. Hey, shark! She went flesh so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I have famous last know. words. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. That's what she said. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. And with that, we'll call it here. We'll go. We're gonna return to the ship and see what other people are up to. We got one guy seasick. We got one guy just being a drunk jerkwad, and we got her Fliss. And we might be. It looks like we're gonna be playing as her next. And I like her because she she's she knows what's up. So next time we've got a, a dive site to keep exploring. We've got sharks to scare away with sticks. All kinds of fun stuff. So I will see you guys next time. All right. All right. Love ya. Bye bye.